All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It's our marvelous Monday with our kindergartners, first graders, and second graders. Hello, this is Mr. C of Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so very much for joining us. It is now time for our music class. So our class, I just want to let all parents know uh, the uh, information that I usually give in, um, for every class. Uh, this is regarding becoming a member of Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy. Uh, you can look me up on patreon.com slash Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy where you can become a member of the academy and have uh, access to lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Uh, that includes um, Q&As, live Q&As that, we'll that I'll be doing uh, later on. Live Q&A sessions with me. Okay, about teaching techniques, about anything regarding music and bringing music into the homeschool curriculum. And also, also you'll be having access to my um, courses for parent teaching techniques, building lesson plans, okay, setting the stage for your own classroom uh, at home for, for the homeschool music environment. Okay, you will have uh, courses, video courses, uh, access to that, and also you, we, you will for those who are members of Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy. This is limited to only those who are members. If you become a member, you will be able to have access to our virtual first ever virtual uh, holiday open mic. Okay, which will happen around in December, and this will give us a give all of us a chance for students and for parents even to do an open mic, sing your favorite holiday song and join us in that kind of fun, in that little concert there. So uh, if you want more information, please look up, look it up in the description. It will, if it's not in the description right now with this video, it definitely will be, okay? But uh, look in the description regarding, again, Patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, -E patreon.com slash Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy, where you can become a member for as uh, for a minimum of a dollar, okay? But thank you very much, guys, for joining us once again. And it is time for my jingle. Time for my jingle. So let me get out the old ukulele. And it is time for school. Here we go. Time for school. Time for music. Time to learn together. We can do it. Learning is fun with Mr. C. And learning is fun with Mr. C. Learning music and how it also applies to things in uh, our regular curriculum in regular uh, academics curriculums, there's a lot of stuff that we uh, we really don't realize a lot of times when it comes to when it comes to music and how it applies to math and science and social studies and ELA and uh, and reading and all that. So um, we uh, we definitely get to learn those things, and I'll show you in a little bit. Today's last today's core lesson is about dynamics so we're going to be singing our soul feds like we usually do but we're going to add dynamics into that which has to do with the textures the textures remember that kids the textures in music uh and what do i mean by textures i mean uh things that are loud and soft and, and gradually getting louder and things like that things that bring uh, a different feeling to all the notes that you sing okay but also before we do that i always like to start off things off with a, uh, a, a hymnal, okay, uh, a song that praises God and thanking Him for all the all the good gifts that we're able to to have and able to, all the blessings that we're able to have and able to do like create music because He is our Creator and He's the Creator of everything, guys. And so one of the songs that I really like is a song called "I Am a Promise." And that was written by a woman by the name of Gloria Gaither. Okay, she is a Christian singer songwriter, and uh, this. This song was actually featured in a uh, in a in a show called Veggie Tales. Some of you might be familiar with that. Maybe some of you are not. Okay, but Veggie Tales is a cartoon show, computer animated cartoon show, and this song was featured in that. And in many other cases, there's other versions of this particular song. This is one version that I want to play for you right now and sing with you guys. If you would like to get the lyrics, just Google go on the Google search engine. I am a promise, okay? Just find I am a promise, okay? Again, this is written by Gloria Gaither. Uh, she was she was the one who uh, wrote this particular song. 
and uh, I, I, I know that you guys are going to enjoy it. So uh, I'll give you guys some time to, parents, I'll give you guys some time to get those lyrics off of Google. Once again, just look for I Am A Promise uh, and, and type in lyrics so you can get that faster, okay? And you should be able to see a set of lyrics and sing along, guys. If you know it already, hey, sing along too. Now let's remember a couple of things. While, while moms and dads are getting that ready, getting those lyrics ready, Let's do some stretches, kids. Let's definitely do some stretches, which is good for our vocals, okay? So I want everybody, our usual stretch, everybody look. Uh, uh, let's go with our arms straight here and reach for the sky like you're trying to grab some clouds, like you're trying to grab clouds and stars and the sun and everything else. Okay, maybe a bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You know, maybe you try to grab a bird right there, <laughs> okay? Uh, but let those arms drop and let's everybody roll our shoulders towards the back. To, uh, backwards roll the shoulders feel that nice massage okay feels nice right and again this is good for the vocal cords guys so the, this regular practice is not just for us kids not for you kids okay i do that mr c does this every day for his vocal cords because i teach all day long okay and i which means i speak all day long and i sing all day long so i need this you know and no matter what age you are this is great for everybody everybody roll the shoulders forward Let's roll them forward, okay? And now let's everybody rotate the necks in a circle. Do this slowly, please. We don't want you guys to get any whiplash, okay? Don't hurt your neck. You need to do this very slow, but rotate those necks all the way around. And everybody go the other way right now. Everybody go the other way. There you go, nice and slow. Great. Everybody look up. Everybody look all the way down. And everybody look towards your right. And look towards the left. And everybody shrug your shoulders like you're saying, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> shrug the shoulders and drop those shoulders. And I want everybody to turn, put their arms out in front of you and start rotating the elbows and the wrist. Kind of like you're saying, you know, how, how we're going this way inward. We're kind of going like, come here. Hey, come here. Let's be friends. <laughs> okay, but now let's go the other way, and then we'll, we're will we rotating our elbows and wrists the other way, and everybody, it could be kind of like, hey, bye, see you later, goodbye. <laughs> okay, and now everybody shake those arms out, shake those arms out, and shake your faces out. Okay, all right. <laughs> I like to shake it, get the blood flowing, get the blood pumping and everything. Okay, and we can fix our hairs like what Mr. C is doing right now. I get my messy hair over here. <laughs> Let's fix our hair, everybody. Okay, and everybody keep that nice posture, that back straight while you're sitting. If you happen to be standing, same thing. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Everybody take a deep breath in through your nose and out your mouth. Once again, deep breath in and out. Well, okay, great. All right, so let's get started. We are going to warm up our voices with that song, Moms and Dads. I hope you guys were able to get Gloria Gaither's song, I Am a Promise. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, getting my piano ready and getting my lyric sheet ready, my, my music ready here. All right, here we go. I Am a Promise by Gloria Gaither. Guys, sing along, watch the words, sing along with mommy and dad. Mom and, moms and dads, sing along too, okay? This is great for everybody. Gets us in the right frame of mind, no matter what we're doing, guys, okay? So here we go. All right, and it goes. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise with a capital P. I am a great big bundle of potentiality and I am learning to hear God's voice and I am trying to make the right choice I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be I can go anywhere that he wants me to go I can be anything me to be. I can climb the highest mountains, I can cross the wide sea. I am a great big promise you see. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise with a capital P. I am a great big bundle of 
potentiality. And I am learning to hear God's voice, and I am trying to make the right choice. I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be. I am a promise to be anything. I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be. One more time with that ending, everybody. I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be. Okay, I hope everybody liked that. Give yourselves a round of applause for singing along, everybody. Round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. Great job, everybody. So that was I Am a Promise by Gloria Gaither. And I love this song because, um, because we are a promise. God promises to, to uh, keep his people in good health and to, and to help them along and all these things, okay? And we have to keep trying, keep trying to hear God's voice. And how do we try? How do we try? By always, you know, asking him. By help, by asking, by asking God, by reading the Bible, which is His Word. Okay, we do all those things, and you know, God allows us to try our best every day, guys. And that's what I'd like to see everybody do: try your best at everything. Okay, God gave you this gift, so let's do it. Okay, so here we go. Now, today's core lesson, as I mentioned before, dynamics. Okay, dynamics. Okay, now what are dynamics? Okay, let me say that meaning again: dynamics. In fact, I got it written on my. Good old whiteboard over here. So take a look at me, adjust my camera so you can see Mr. C and everything that's on the board. Let me actually bring it in a little closer. Okay, so here we go. I've got a couple of things written over here. No, I see, I don't like that either. I have to adjust my camera a little bit more because I don't want you to miss the top of my head, everybody. Okay, but here we go. Dynamics. Now, dynamics having to do with Lots of volume changes, okay? That's really what we're focusing on a lot here, volume changes, okay? The volume changes create what I like to refer to as textures. Everybody see that word, textures. Textures in music, okay? Different feeling, different, different, uh, it, it's almost like, it's almost like you can, like you can touch it, but it's not really. It's really textures for the ears, right? Because anything we do in music has to do with what we hear, right? Everything in music is sound, okay? So textures and sound, okay? How does this apply? Well, guys, there's a lot, there are lots of songs out there that we listen to that are either really loud and booming, okay? And have lots of energy, okay? And then there are some songs that are very slow and, and soft, okay? And, and, and the volume kind of goes down. It's very soft, okay? And so, you know, those are the songs that you really, you know, that actually make you feel something like you want to cry, okay? Or you are or you have happy tears. Or, you know, or you got those songs that are really energetic and they're very loud and they're very fast and then you, and then you, feel, like, you feel like dancing and you feel like jumping for joy and all those things, okay? There's lots of different songs like that, okay? But the reason why you guys are able to feel a certain way when it comes to those textures is because of pa -pa -pa -pa, dynamics, okay? It has to do with dynamics, okay? So remember that word, dynamics. Dynamics having to do with volume and textures. Everybody say that. Dynamics are volumes and textures in music, okay? In sound. Okay, so let's learn about these dynamics. And these are only four of the dynamics, okay? These are only four that we're gonna talk about. There's definitely more. There's a lot more other markings in a piece of sheet music that has different dynamics, okay? So for instance, we're gonna look at, on a, like if you were looking at a song sheet right now, okay? What do I mean by a song sheet, like a piece of music? Um, here's an example, okay? Here's a song, this is a song called Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, okay? One of the things I'm going over with some of my students in the public school that I work for, okay? And uh, but this is just an example of a piece of sheet music, something that's already written. It's got all the musical notes and everything like that. Okay, and it's got lots of markings. Okay, like uh, like stuff like this little uh, lowercase p. Okay, so everybody take a look at that lowercase p. Whenever you see that in a piece of sheet music like the one I showed you, okay, you, that means piano. Now I know what you're thinking. You think what piano like. That's what we're gonna, uh, that, that we're going to, uh, here, let me, let me show you. I'm pointing at it, but you guys can't really see it, but we're going to 
play the piano at that point? No, no, no. That's not what that means. Actually, funny thing, funny story about the instrument, the piano. The piano itself, when we hear it, okay, when we hear it, yeah, there are times that we can play it really loud, right? Okay? But if anybody's ever looked at the back of a piano, you know, you'll know, you notice that you've probably seen those big, long strings, okay, in the back of a piano or something like that, and it has all these many, many, many strings. And then it has these little mechanical hammers, if you will, that have these soft heads, these soft mallet heads that when you play on a key, when you play on a piano, right, it right away, the mechanical little arms take the little hammers, right, and hit the strings, right? Any note that you play, okay, any note that you play, you will hear a hit, okay? And it's these felt, it's got this felt material on the, on the heads of those hammers, and it makes those particular noises every time you play it. It's, the, it's the, from the keys that moves those mechanical hammers that hits those strings, okay? Now, why do I mention that? Because those soft, it's, it's soft felt, okay? It's not like a regular hammer that's made out of metal and you hit a nail in. No, it has, it's not, it doesn't have a, a hard hammer head. It has a soft hammer head, right? And so that's what creates that kind of soft, that kind of soft sound that when you hear it, it has a softness to it, okay? Yeah, we could always play it louder, right? We could do that, but at the same time, it still has this texture, if you will, okay? That has this very soft feel to it, okay? And so, in actuality, the word piano is an Italian word. It's an Italian word, okay? Where the you know Italians were the ones that came, the ones that came up with spaghetti, Italian food, spaghetti and meatballs, and pizza, and all of those things, linguine, fettuccine, macaroni, right? Okay, it has all of those. Dip, those uh, it comes from Italy, right? The word piano, which means soft. It means that, and that's why they named the instrument the the piano. They named it the piano because. Every, every time you play those keys, it has those soft felt hammers, okay? That makes sort of this soft sound whenever you play the piano, okay? So again, piano really means soft. It doesn't necessarily mean the instrument. The instrument, they just named that instrument the piano because of its softness, okay? So everybody, everybody remember that, okay? So whenever you see the lowercase p in a piece of music, again, it means piano, which is Italian, for soft, okay? Now, here's another one. This is a lowercase f, okay? Here's a lowercase f, which, me which means forte. Everybody say that, forte. If you can roll the R in forte, that would be even better. It would be very Italian. Forte, rrr, rrr, forte, okay? So forte is actually a word that means loud, okay? So when we are loud, yeah, we're being forte. We're, we're doing it at the volume in forte. Okay, so piano, once again, means soft. I'm being soft, this is how soft I am singing, and that is piano. And then forte is loud, I am forte, okay, and that is our forte right there. Okay, now, take a look at this. This is very interesting, and this, moms and dads, and every, okay, and, and, and all you students, you guys are going to find this really interesting. You're going to learn this even before you get to really learn it, guys. Watch this. Actually, you second graders might even know this, but take a look at this symbol. Second grade, you might have seen this, or you're going to see it. Maybe you're going to see it, but this symbol is something that you usually see and usually see in math, okay, which you, which when you see this and you have two numbers on either side of it, Okay, looks like kind of like a mouth, right? Like an angle, right? And it looks kind of like this is the mouth over here and this is the small part. It's, it's usually known as the, it's like a less than, greater than sign, right? Okay, so if you had, uh, here, let me get the, let me get my marker, my trusty marker. I'm going to write it somewhere else. So if you had uh, this symbol right here and you put, uh, let's say I put a four and a five right here, okay, on either side. So in math, in math, they teach you where this symbol, okay, is telling us something that four is less than, less than, that means smaller than five. Why is this, why is four smaller than five? Okay, because why? When we count one, two, three, four, four comes first, 
five is next, right? Five, five is more than four, right? Okay, so this symbol over here, when the, when the two lines meet like this in this small part, you see that small, that small part where the angle connects right there? That is saying less than, that means smaller. And then of course, this big part over here, this is towards the five, the number five. Why? Because this is, because the five is actually greater than four. It's bigger, okay? Right, because five is more than four, right? One, two, three, four, five. And this is five, okay? Definitely that's more fingers than what? Just four, one, two, three, four, right? So this symbol in math is telling us that four is less than five. If we were to do the symbol the other way, right, and we go five and do the symbol like this, okay, it's, Mr. C is not writing it very neatly, but okay, but you kind of get the idea. Look at the mouth now. Now it's backwards. You see that? Five is bigger or greater than, because the mouth is big, right, bigger than four, okay? So it's greater than four. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. They use these same symbols for music in dynamics. Here, let's look at this one where it says this symbol, like it almost looks like less than, right? Less than, it's, uh, it means crescendo. Everybody say that, Cres crescendo. It does, it's Italian, right? Because a, a, um, a lot of the dynamic words, okay, in a piece of music are Italian, okay? So say crescendo, okay? So crescendo actually means getting louder in a gradual way, kind of getting louder. So imagine yourselves, imagine you guys listening to a radio, right? And you are uh, in your car stereo or whatever, right? And then you have the volume knob, okay? If you were trying to do a crescendo with the volume knob of whatever song was on, right? All you have to do is increase the radio, the volume knob just a little bit towards the, towards the right. That's how you do it louder, most of them, right? So let's say they were singing on ah, you know? Okay, then little by little you will be raising the volume. So you're crush so really that's like a good example of crescendo, crescendo, gradually getting louder. Remember that crescendo means getting louder. But now they have the other symbol, okay, where the mouth is facing the other way, just like we did over here, five greater than four, right? This one is known as decrescendo, okay? Actually, let me go back a little bit to crescendo because notice, notice it has the little minimal part, right? The less than part, okay? You have the smaller part where it's actually starting in piano, soft, but then if it's gradually getting louder, that means it's gradually, little by little, getting to forte, which is loud, and that's the reason why the mouth here is open wide, you see that? Because it's going from soft to loud, little by little, you see that? Now, back to the decrescendo, everybody say decrescendo, say it Italian, Italian-wise, decrescendo, okay? Where over here, now the mouth is bigger, which means you're starting off what? Are you starting off forte, loud, or are you starting off piano, soft? You're starting off loud. Remember the bigger part here of this symbol, it means loud. We're starting off loud and what? Getting softer. That's what decrescendo means. We're gradually, little by little now, getting softer. So now if you were turning the volume knob the other way on your car, on your car stereo, you would hear, ah. Okay, you see what that means? See what that does? Now I gradually, little by little, I got softer. That's decrescendo, okay? So crescendo, again, means getting louder. Decrescendo is getting soft, getting softer. Okay, that's the idea. I'm not, not now, now remember something also, kids. I'm not fluctuating. I'm not changing my pitch, not at all. I'm doing the same note, but I'm getting louder. But you can also do that while grow, while doing different pitches. You can even gradually get louder or gradually get softer. So let's stay at, let, I'm gonna come right to my piano now, guys. Okay, let me see what time it is. Oh, 425, okay. So we definitely have enough time to do, to do a little bit of examples, okay, of piano, forte, crescendo, and decrescendo. So let's remind everybody what piano means. Piano, again, means what? Soft, okay? So it means soft. So if we were singing 
something soft. Let's say we were doing do, re, mi, fa, sol, okay? How do we sing that soft? Watch this. All right, it's going to, we're going to be singing it soft. So if we sing do, re, mi, fa, sol, here's do, re, mi, fa, sol, just regular, regular volume. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. Okay, now I want to do it piano. I want to do it piano. That means I want to do it what? Soft. Here we go, here's soft. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. Okay, stay on the same piano volume, right? But do it soft. Everybody do that with me right now. Everybody sit up straight. Make sure your back is your back, your posture is good. Everybody sit up straight and relax those shoulders. Okay. And let's sing Do Re Mi Fa Sol. Nice and piano. Nice and soft. Ready? And Do Re Mi Fa Sol. Okay, good. By the way, whenever I go like this, that means stop, guys. All right. You can even do that with me, everybody. That's, a, that's called a cutoff cue. Everybody go like this. There you go, okay? Now, we're gonna do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol again, but we're going to do it, what? The little F, Forte. Everybody, let's do Forte, okay? That means, and what does that mean again? Loud, okay? So we're gonna do Forte, we're gonna do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, loud. Me first, okay? Everybody sit up straight, but me first. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. So pretty simple enough, right? Nice and loud. That is our forte, okay? So everybody sit up straight once again. And let's do with me. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, forte, loud, everybody. And do, re, mi, fa, sol. Good. And then we stop right there. Hey, let's review piano. Everybody again, piano soft. Let's do that again. And do, re, mi, fa, sol. All right, good job. And now everybody, forte, loud, let's do it. And do, re, mi, fa, sol. And off, okay? Great job. Now, do, re, mi, fa, sol, we got to do it crescendo, which means what? Getting louder, gradually getting louder. That means we're going to start off in piano and work our way to forte. We're going to start off soft and work our way to loud, okay? Everybody, me first, watch this. So, we're going to sing. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. You see what I did there? Let me show you that again, okay? Starts off soft, and then gradually works up to loud. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. Okay, let's try that, everybody. Sitting up straight. Make sure that posture is good. Remember also, as I talked about last week, exaggerate your syllables, okay? Make sure you're exaggerating your syllables, okay? We, um, so that the voice can come out nice, okay? You can control how you want to do it. You can work your way from soft to loud as long as you exaggerate the way you sing everything, okay? Here we go. Let's try it. Crescendo. Gradually get loud. Here we go. And... Good, okay, you got that? That is our crescendo. Now, it's time to go the opposite direction. It's decrescendo time, decrescendo, where we start loud, we start forte, and then gradually get softer, gradually get to piano, which is soft, okay? Me first, everybody, here I go. No, I'm going soft again. Mr. C made a mistake there. I start off loud. Here we go at Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. You see what I did? I started off loud and gradually got softer. Okay, everybody with me. Let's do it together. Sit up straight and start loud, get to soft. Here we go. Start forte, get to piano. And Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Okay, you see that? Nicely done. One more time, decrescendo with me. And here we go. And do, re, mi, fa, sol. Okay, and nicely done. All right, kids, give yourselves a wonderful round of applause. You guys did a fantastic job. Let's review again our dynamics one more time. Piano, so. Everybody say piano, so. Forte, loud, everybody say forte, or loud. Crescendo, getting louder. 
The shindo getting louder. Okay, there it is. And now decrescendo getting softer. De decrescendo getting softer. <laughs> okay, you see how that works, guys? Those are just four of the four of the dynamics of the many dynamics that you'll see in music, which creates a different kind of sound throughout a song. Without dynamics, guys, without dynamics, we wouldn't be able to really be able to feel a song and, and, and feel a certain way about a song, to feel happy, to feel sad, to feel all those things that we like about music because it has all those textures because of the dynamics. Dynamics helps us to feel something when it comes to the song, okay? So remember that dynamics are important in music, okay? If you miss something, guys, in the video, rewind it back, sing, it, sing with me again, and get into those different dynamics. Piano, soft, forte, loud, crescendo, getting louder, decrescendo, getting softer, okay? All right, guys, so I wanna remind everybody again, parents and moms and dads, I just wanna remind you guys that, again, uh, to please, Subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and share. Share with everybody as I like to share free music lessons with everybody. Guys, um, I, I find it very uh, important that uh, everybody, especially in these times, that we, we, we find a way to do music because music is such a great reinforcer for everything that we do, uh, like you saw in mathematics and in science and in a lot of different things, guys. Okay, uh, so please subscribe to my channel. I want to keep on make. I want to keep on giving this content, this wonderful content, okay, to all of our students, okay, and and all of our adults, okay. We can definitely benefit from this music time, guys. So uh, again, subscribe, like, and share to my channel. Look me up on Facebook if you have Facebook, Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy uh, Facebook page, and like and share the videos that I have over there. And as well as guys, uh, remember to become a member, become a member of Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy by going on to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Mr. C's Homeschool Music Academy so that you can get benefits, uh, get access. Only members will get access to things like the live Q&As as well as the, uh, the live, the uh, open virtual open mic Okay, which I'll be doing in December uh, for hop for the holidays and also for those courses for parents, for all you guys, all you parents really trying to see if you can teach music in your in your homeschool curriculum. I have courses that help you with lesson planning and with uh, setting the stage in your classroom. Okay, uh, routines and things like that. Okay, all of those things which can be very helpful to all the other subjects that you teach, guys. Okay. I am sharing this wealth of knowledge with you guys because I really care about uh, our youth's education and I care about our education and we have to keep on going. We have to always never let never let education stop. That's the way that's the way I feel about that. And guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Next Monday, it'll be four to four thirty again with our elementary uh, kindergarten through second grade tomorrow. Spread the word tomorrow. I'll uh, have a different time slot. Our seniors, our senior, our, our senior com uh, community, we'll be having our our session from 115 to 145. Also tomorrow from 2 to 230 for our special needs friends, our special needs class. We are going to be doing our class there tomorrow. And then Wednesday goes back to the 4 to 430 slot, which is our secondary level of uh, elementary, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Then on Thursday, it is our middle schoolers, sixth, seventh and eighth grade okay and then fridays for our ninth uh 10th 11th and 12th grade high schoolers where we will be concentrating on music theory and composition guys thank you once again for joining us and as i always tell all of my students i wish you happy practicing everyone take care have a great day